July 10th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 of the New Testament. For we know that if our earthly house, the tent we live in, is dismantled, we have a building from God, a house not built by human hands, that is eternal in the heavens. For in this earthly house we groan, because we desire to put on our heavenly dwelling. If indeed, after we have put on our heavenly house, we will not be found naked. For we groan while we are in this tent, since we are weighed down, because we do not want to be unclothed, but clothed, so that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life. Now the one who prepared us for this very purpose is God, who gave us the Spirit as a down payment. Therefore, we are always full of courage, and we know that as long as we are alive here on earth, we are absent from the Lord, for we live by faith, not by sight. Thus we are full of courage and would prefer to be away from the body and at home with the Lord. So then, whether we are alive or away, we make it our ambition to please Him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may be paid back according to what he has done while in the body, whether good or evil. Therefore, because we know the fear of the Lord, we try to persuade people, but we are well known to God, and I hope we are well known to your consciences too. We are not trying to commend ourselves to you again, but are giving you an opportunity to be proud of us, so that you may be able to answer those who take pride in outward appearances and not in what is in the heart. For if we are out of our minds, it is for God. If we are of sound mind, it is for you. For the love of Christ controls us since we have concluded this, that Christ died for all, therefore all have died. And he died for all so that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised. So then from now on we acknowledge no one from an outward human point of view. Even though we have known Christ from such a human point of view, now we do not know him in that way any longer. So then, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. What is old has passed away. Look, what is new has come. And all those things are from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and who has given us the ministry of reconciliation. In other words, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting people's trespasses against them. And he has given us the message of reconciliation. Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God were making his plea through us. We plead with you on Christ's behalf. Be reconciled to God. God made the one who did not know sin to be sin for us, so that in him we would become the righteousness of God. God, it is so incredibly hard to live here on earth. I mean, I thank you very much for this beautiful planet that you gave us and this amazing life that you set before us. And don't think that I don't appreciate all of the amazing blessings that you give me that I get to wake up in a bed every morning with a roof over, over my head, uh, food on the table, clothes to wear, amazing friends to um, uplift me and help guide me. I am very thankful for all that. I'm thankful for how beautiful it is where I live and the other places I travel around the world. But it is so hard to live here on earth, God. My desire to sin is great. Even though I am your child, even though I follow you, even though my heart wants to do everything right that you have asked me, it seems that my natural direction or unnatural direction is to not only sin, but intentionally sin, knowing full well that that's not what you want from me. You know, I, I have a saying by my computer that, that says it's not that we choose sin that breaks your heart. It's that we're choosing sin over you. And God, for that, I am, I am truly sorry. I'm truly repentant. And even though it seems like I make promises, endless promises, to never do things again, I find myself in similar situations with similar bad habits, not justifying, but just bad habits. And God, I just come to you today. I bow before you. 
And I beg you for that strength that you've promised us in Second Philippians. The strength and the power to do what pleases you. Because all I'm doing right now is just pleasing me. And it's not what I really want. It's not what you made me to do. So this earthly house I'm groaning in. And my desire to want to be with you and just worship you. And, and not have sin and pain and hurt in my life anymore. Today is really hard. God, I pray for everyone who's listening to this video. Today may be really hard for them. Or maybe tomorrow will be really hard for them. And I just ask for strength for them as well. That your path that you give them for their amazing life that you have chosen for them specifically. That you just make that path really clear to them. And along with that strength and desire to do with pl what pleases you. And our love for you. As small as it might be compared to your love for us. Along with your grace and mercy and forgiveness that we walk down that path that you have for us. And along the way our relationship with you deepens. Our relationship with others becomes not surface and we are allowed to glorify you here on earth a just small glimpse of what we get to do in heaven God today I ask you that you be with me that you be with everyone who wants to walk in your light and not the light of the darkness in your son's name I pray amen